Hi everyone, welcome back to Onco Daily. My name is Emma Terazarian, and today it's a great pleasure for me to introduce you Dr. Jen Tang Lu. Uh, hi, Dr. Lu. It's a great honor for me to meet you today. Hi, Emma. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. So before we start, I would like to mention that Dr. Lu is the founder and CEO of Visionaire. And I think we can already start with our interview. So first, Dr. Lu, I would like to learn about yourself, your journey, uh, how you started with Visionaire. And then we can uh, continue with some of the insights about Visionaire. Sure. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah. So... um. I'm JT, the founder and CEO of Visioneer. I'm an AI scientist by training with a strong passion about healthcare. Prior to Visioneer, I went to Princeton for my PhD, where I focused on medical imaging and artificial intelligence. After graduation, I still remember many of my peers chose to join Google or Facebook, but I chose to join Mass General Hospital. Because I always uh, believe that AI can be used uh, for many things. But using AI to help patients around the world is the most uh, meaningful thing we can do. So um, back to 2017, when Mass General Hospital founded the first ever AI center within the hospital organization, I was an early founding team member there. I was uh, responsible for leading the team to develop a large-scale deep learning-based AI systems for automated disease detection. So I have had the privilege of seeing clinical pain points at first hand. And since then, um, since my PhD and my um, first job at Mass General, uh, I have been working in the field of uh, AI for healthcare for more than a decade. That's uh, all I care about. Yeah. And about uh, five years ago, um, I left uh, Mass General to found a visionaire to focus on oncology. Yeah. So we use artificial intelligence to accelerate oncology clinical trials. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Liu, could you please tell me uh, what are the long-term strategic goals that Visionaire is focusing on to maintain its leadership in cancer treatment innovation? Yeah, so um, Visionaire is an oncology AI company. And our mission is a simple but ambitious. So um, we want to speed up clinical trials. We want to bring effective cancer treatments to patients in need faster. And we are doing this uh, using artificial intelligence. So the reason why it matters is because um, currently clinical trials are, are extremely slow and inefficient. It takes about 10 years to develop a cancer drug and the um, success rate is only about 5%. At the heart of this uh, challenge is one critical factor. That is drug efficacy. So drug efficacy determines uh, whether a new drug gets approved. So that's uh, where we come in. At Visioneer, we have uh, developed an FDA-approved AI platform that can evaluate drug efficacy down to the individual treatment level. So with our AI platform, we can provide a drug efficacy data with a 10 to 50 times more granularity than what's possible today. So as you can imagine, with that level of granularity, pharmaceutical companies can make earlier and more confident uh, decisions either to accelerate a trial or stop it earlier without wasting lots of time and resources. And Leading pharmaceutical companies uh, like Pfizer have been using our AI. And in fact, Visioneer is the first AI company um, to deploy an AI system in prospective trials to evaluate efficacy endpoints. So what we provide is not just a tool. It's a new standard. Our long-term goal is to become the industry standard for evaluating drug efficacy. We envision a future where every oncology drug leverages our AI platform to determine drug efficacy to accelerate clinical trials at least twice as efficient. Yeah. 
Thank you. Um, Dr. Liu, uh, how does Visionary evaluate and prioritize its R&D investments to ensure alignment with its broader strategic vision for the oncology space? Our R&D investments, um, so our goal is quite clear. So we want to accelerate clinical trials. And our approach is to unlock totality of efficacy data to accelerate clinical trials. So we have a um, two-step approach for our R&D. So the first step is to ensure our AI can perform what humans uh, can do in current clinical trials, following the current guidelines to evaluate the drug efficacy in clinical trials. But um, as you know, current clinical trials uh, rely on human readers to determine drug efficacy, uh, while human readers are highly subjected. Indeed, the literature has shown that 40% of the time, two human readers um, may not agree with each other. So with our AI, we can first provide a quick turnaround time. Uh, second, we can provide unbiased data. So that's a first step. We want to make sure our AI can perform what humans can do. The second step is to we focus on pushing beyond human capabilities. In current clinical trials, by the guidelines like the response evaluation criteria of solid tumors. Yeah. So uh, in current clinical trials, uh, human readers only evaluate a handful of tumors due to the limitations of the time and resources. While our AI can evaluate drug efficacy down to the individual tumor level. So as uh, you can imagine, with um, early response packets of uh, all tumors, we can uh, predict uh, long-term outcomes, such as uh, progression-free survival, overall survival. That's something that we have uh, published uh, in um, leading conferences and journals. And so by structuring our R&D um, surrounding these uh, two um, pillars, like uh, clinical equivalence, clinical superiority, we can ensure that we advance how clinical trials are conducted. Dr. Liu, my next question is, um, in such a competitive healthcare landscape, uh, what strategies does Visionaire employ to set itself apart from other players in the oncology industry? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, as I uh, briefly uh, mentioned, um, Visionaire is the first company to deploy an AI system into pharma-sponsored prospective trials to evaluate the efficacy endpoint. And that's how we differentiate ourselves from uh, other players. So uh, first, regulatory-grade uh, technology. So our AI is FDA-cleared AI and has been deployed in prospective trials which shows uh, our generalizability because uh, we need to use our AI in global trials. So we have a, a very diverse um, patient population. We want to make sure that our AI can perform at a high level of uh, accuracy in various uh, situations. And second, by priority data set. So we train our AI system with large-scale, highly curated, diverse uh, data sets which ensures that our AI can be very robust in uh, any situation. And our AI has been running 24-7, and we continue to uh, improve our AI systems with uh, live uh, data, live uh, user feedback. And second, real-world impact. In addition to clinical trials, we also deploy our AI for clinical practice uh, to support uh, treatment decisions. So the combination of uh, regulatory credibility, data strength, and uh, real-world uh, deployment positions a uh, visionary as a leader in this field. Thank you. Uh, so my next question for you, Dr. Liu, would be, how does visionary integrate patient-centered care into its strategic planning, ensuring that its innovations truly meet the needs of both patients and healthcare providers. Patient-centered care is the core of a vision year. The reason why we founded vision year was simple. Uh, cancer patients uh, cannot afford to wait. So many patients cannot wait without effective treatments. So we have been 
dedicated ourselves to develop AI to accelerate clinical trials. Our goal is to bring new treatments, effective treatments to patients in need faster. So I can share with you that on the gate of our company, we have a poster that reads, remember, your work can save hundreds of millions of cancer patients' lives. It serves a daily reminder of uh, the importance of our, of our work. So in addition to me, every member at Visioneer uh, is dedicated to um, our work. The reason why people are, are joining Visioneer is because we care about our cancer patients. And we have been uh, working very hard toward this goal. Yeah. As Visioneer looks to scale its operations, what key partnerships or collaborations will be critical for supporting its growth? And how do you select partners that align with your strategic objectives? That's also a great question. So uh, strategic partnerships are essential to our growth. Yeah, so um, we are actively um, seeking collaboration from biopharma uh, companies, academic institutions, and the regulators who share the same vision of um, transforming oncology trials uh, through artificial intelligence. So, for example, uh, we have a successful uh, partnership with Pfizer. So um, we integrate our AI across various uh, solid tumor indications across early phase and late phase trials. And we also uh, co-published um, um, scientific evidence at leading conferences and journals. Another example is that we also work with uh, um, academic institutions. So like um, researchers from Stanford Medicine has been using our AI to evaluate um, lesion level insights of um, um, non-small cell lung cancer, like treated on the OC merchant, for example. Because uh, um, currently, uh, on cardiac drugs in clinical trials, only patient level data are available. As we discussed, our AI can evaluate drug efficacy down to the individual tumor level. So with our uh, artificial intelligence, we can report lesion level data. And so we are actively um, engaging with uh, forward thinking partners who are ready uh, to lead the adoption of AI to accelerate clinical trials and improve uh, patient outcomes. Thank you. And my la last question, Dr. Liu, uh, since ASCO 2025 was not so behind, I would like to ask you about some insights that Visioneer presented and gained during the whole conference. Yes. So uh, at ASCO, we have been meeting um, lots of collaborators. As I mentioned, like um, industry players, academic players. And when they saw that... Um, our AI platform can address um, drug efficacy for every single tumor. So they just say that, wow, this system, they just mentioned that throughout their career, they never thought that they could evaluate drug efficacy with uh, such granular insights. So at ASCO, um, we have been uh, forming uh, more partnerships with uh, industry players and uh, academic institutions. So that uh, was a great conference, and we are looking forward to uh, more collaborations. Thank you so much, Dr. Liu. It was a great pleasure to meet you today and to speak with you about Visionary and all the insights. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Emma. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.